moving on to the next uh, use case of the var clause um, say you like you you would see uh, all these user ids right you know they start with the number sometimes they start with uh, letters sometimes as you see here say you wanted to see only those rows where the user id starts with the number 1 okay or starts with the letter d for example how would you do it here we have to leverage something called as a like operator okay this is very useful in many cases uh, so here how i would do it is i would say select star from cricket.sql video same and then you say where user and then you put the like okay like operator and then you say within single quotes one percent okay so what one percent means here it might be confusing for some of you it simply tells sql hey look at the value for the user and wherever you know the first letter of that particular you know user id is one and the rest can be anything. So the percentage is basically a, like a wild card operator. You know, it basically means percentage can be anything. It doesn't matter. It can be letter word. So the rest of the word can be anything. The first letter has to be one. That is what we are saying to SQL by saying one percentage. We are fixing the first letter of the word. And SQL will compare. And if you see when I run this output, Will come and as you see all the user ids which start with the number one are being displayed everything starts with the number one as you see i'll quickly scroll down to show you so yeah basically everything starts with the number one so another use case say we had a column like name of a person you could find uh, all the names which start with the letter a using the same logic you could just say where user like and then say a percentage so you fix the first letter and the rest can be anything so you put the percentage first use case same way i could say d percentage which means i would get all the user ids which start with the letter d as i run this you see all the letter which start all the words of the user which start with the letter d are coming here okay same way what if i wanted to showcase all the user ids which finished with the letter for example a right which finished with the letter a it's almost the same the only change in the logic here will be you would say percentage a so what this means is hey the beginning can be anything okay the initial words uh, all that can be anything but i want to fix my last letter and it has to be a that is what we are telling to sql here okay percentage a means the last letter has to be a the rest can be anything so when i run this you will see all the user ids which end with the letter a are coming in the output Okay, we could take this a level further. So suppose you wanted uh, to see all the user IDs, which start with the letter E and the second letter is also E, okay? So you wanna fix two letters instead of one letter. How you would do that in SQL is pretty similar. So you would say where user like, so first two letters you wanna fix. So you put those letters E, E, the rest can be anything. So you put the percentage. So when I run that, you will see all the user IDs which start with the letter E, okay? And same thing you could do for the end. If you want the last two letters of, um, you know, the word for user to end with, say, 7 and A. So you could put 7, A. And before that, it can be anything, okay? The last two letters alone are fixed. And on this, you will see. So every user ID which finishes with 7, A will get displayed, okay? Pretty powerful use cases. Let's move on to a little more trickier uh, use case of like operator. Say you want to get all the users which contain the letter B, okay? How would you do that is? So you would say percentage B and percentage, okay? This is like you want the letter B to be in the user ID, but it can be in the beginning, middle, end. That doesn't matter. That use case, okay? How would you do that is you would say percentage b percentage what this basically means is hey i just want the letter b somewhere in the uh, you know word of the user but there is no compulsion it has to be in the beginning or the end so you know the beginning and everything can be anything b has to just come somewhere this can also be at the beginning or can also be at the end doesn't matter this is exactly same as how you do in excel like contains letter b okay so if it has to contain a specific letter, you could say percentage B percentage. When I run this, you will see 
this contains letter b but it's at the last position this contains letter b at the last position this contains letter b but it's in the middle this contains letter b uh, but it's at the beginning so as you see all the users which just contain the letter b anywhere regardless of the position will get outputted here okay this is another extra use case of the like operator okay now moving on so we have seen a lot of textual applications here now I'll see, I'll show you the between uh, clause, which is also pretty useful. Uh, and it can be used, for example, for dates, okay? So we have a lot of data here, right? What if and we have like uh, uh, the, you know, the month, the, uh, the year and all that. What if I wanted to see only the rows for which the month of the date ordered was say three or four? Basically what I mean is three is March, four is April. So how would you do that is same select star from the table and you would say where and you would say month. We want the month rate right, of the date ordered. Okay. And we could use the in operator as I had shown you previously. So you want it to be in March or April. So it is three or four. You could just put that here. And now when I run the query, so where month of date ordered in three comma four, we would get uh, like three, four, like only those orders which were in March or April comes. What if you wanted to do it for three, four, five, and six? Okay. You could say three, four, five, six. This is one way. Another way, which I'm going to show you now, is the between clause. You could say where month of date order between three and six. What this will tell you SQL is hey, look for the order date, look for the month of the order date, wherever it is between three and six, both three and six are included. Just output those rows, okay? So now when I run this, you will see whichever order was in March, April, five is May, and then even uh, you will see uh, six if it is present somewhere. So March, April, May, June orders you will see, okay? That is the purpose of the between operator. It's kind of like, you know, for a longer range, instead of using in and typing every single option, you could use the between operator. Powerful use case, okay? Next, I'm going to show uh, basically about uh, another interesting operator. Uh, so in where we could also use the greater than less than operator, particularly, particularly for numerical rules. Okay. So I have a new data set here. So it, the name of the table is SQL sample. And here you can see like uh, the market data. Okay. Like market is nothing but the name of the country audiences you know the uh, you know age of the audience so old people uh, children adults and so on campaign is pretty similar to the channel in the previous uh, previous database i showed you so it is can be google facebook email i think i also have youtube instagram and then you know some marketing data if you're not completely aware of marketing data no need to worry so this is like the com cost the company is spending for the advertisement and then you know this is the fees they are charging like for example the user okay so essentially we have some numerical data. This is like the number of clicks they have made after seeing the advertisement. Okay. So here, what if I wanted to see only the rows where the value of the cost was greater than 10? How would you do it using the where condition? You would just say select star from uh, that particular database dot table again. And you would say where cost, I said greater than 10. So you could just say cost greater than 10. When you run that, now you'll see only those rows wherever cost is greater than 10. Okay, you can check, but it's basically that. We could also add an AND condition. What if you wanted to see only rows where the cost is greater than 10 and also the fees is greater than 20, okay? What if we wanted to check something like that? It's the same query where cost greater than 10 and like just like English, you would add fees greater than 20. Okay, simple as that and I run this. And I get, you know, all the rows will have cost greater than 10. Now also the fees greater than 20. All values for fees which are below 20 will now get eliminated as you see. Okay. So this is something you could do with numerical operators. And also remember, we could also combine where clause between, uh, you know, like uh, text operator and numerical operator. What I mean is, say I wanted to see all the rows where the cost is greater than 10 and also the market has to be India alone. I don't want to see the other country data. I could just say where cost greater than 10 and I could say market is equal to IND. 
India. Okay. So now you will see all the rows have cost greater than 10. And at the same time, only market India is there. Like all the other rows which had New Zealand and all that has been eliminated. This is combining textual and logical condition in a bar clause. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you again in another video. Thank you.